The advanced technology of Whitman dryers is called DryMax, offering energy-saving regeneration and an intelligent smart reg function for optimized drying. The smart flow function for automatic air distribution adjusts to different materials and fluctuating material demands. The Aton wheel dryers guarantee low energy consumption and a constant dew point below minus 40 degrees even when operating in tropical environments while incorporating the triple save process and innovative eco mode function. The dryer automatically selects the optimal drying and energy saving processes. Here's a quick demonstration on how to use our control panels on the Whitman Drymax Aton dryers. Prior to startup, make sure that the electrical connection and grounding of the device is in place. Then turn on the device without drawing material on and set to the desired drawing temperature. Leave the device running without material for 6 hours on to remove any moisture from the device. After successful startup, the device is ready for operation for drawing material. Keep in mind, when turning on the device, make sure you switch the main switch on first, and then you can press the power button. This will bring you to menu 1, which shows us the measured value process temperature and the operating status. By switching to menu 2 with the mode button, from here you can change to the desired temperature you want. Press the power button to activate or deactivate the process heater for the corresponding silo, and then confirm using the mode button. Now press mode again to get us to menu 3. Keep in mind this menu is only available if it has the optional dew point sensor equipped to the unit. This feature is beneficial for energy savings because a dew point reading can be used to delay the bed switch over until a user defined dew point level is reached. We have a CS dew point sensor installed in this unit which has the ability to read a dew point at negative 80 degrees Celsius. Switch to level 4 to adjust the desired dew point temperature. Typically, we suggest that users set this value to 18 degrees Fahrenheit above the actual reading is. However, setting it to automatic is also a possible route to take. Next, we get to menu 5, which is the measured value material protection function and return air temperature menu. The return air temperature is utilized to activate the material protection function. Once the set limit value has been reached, the material protection function will be activated. This menu will also display the measured value of the return air temperature for the silo. By switching to menu 6, you have the ability to enter the limit value of the material saver function. This function prevents over drying and thermal degradation of plastic resin during the periods of reduced throughput by automatically lowering the drying temperature. You can find the automatic limit valve function at the lower temperature range. Next we will navigate to menu 7 which is responsible for setting the pre-drying time. You must first switch off the dryer then you can select your pre-drying time and hours from 0 to 24 hours using the up down buttons. To start the pre-drying time switch the dryer on. From here on out whenever you switch to menu 7 it will show you the remaining pre-drying time. Last but not least, we get to menu 8, which is used in completing several different tasks. This screen shows numbers 1, 2, 3 in the display. Starting from the menu, the key lock can be either activated or deactivated. You can lock the keys by getting to code 150 or unlock them at code 153. Set your command by pressing the power button. With code 120, you can set the temperature units. Hitting the up key will get you to Fahrenheit and the down key will get you to Celsius. Also, by getting the code 111, you have the ability to change some important information for your system. The following points are given. You can adjust the process heater, return air, regeneration heater, waste air, dew point, and the power in kilowatts. And then last but not least, we have code 112, which is the error log feature. If your information button is lit up, you can get to this menu to configure what the problem is. By clicking up and down at the same time, you will clear all alerts in the system. Prior to clearing the errors, make sure you write down the information so that way our service technicians can easily identify and fix the problem. Then we have the sleep function. The sleep function turns the device off automatically after a certain period of time. Keep in mind if a button is not pressed within 4 seconds of getting to the desired time setting, 
it will automatically save for the sleep value. Likewise, the timer function will operate like the sleep function, but instead it is responsible for turning the device on automatically at a certain time. Eco mode allows the activation to change into the tower mode. This tower mode is only available if the regeneration temperature is below 200 degrees Celsius or 392 degrees Fahrenheit. The change to tower mode, depending on the drying behavior, can take up to a minimum of 5 hours from the time the unit is turned on. Switching from tower mode to wheel mode will happen automatically if the eco on LED does not illuminate or the monitored heating time wasn't stopped or that after the minimum cycle time the current dew point is under the set dew point. By returning to the wheel mode the regeneration temperature is automatically increasing up to 200 degrees Celsius or 428 degrees Fahrenheit. The user interface also contains the following information. You have the service information symbol, the temperature units, regeneration temperature reduction, regeneration heater, material saver function, and the process heater silo. Lastly, the ambi LED ring around the user interface serves as a status indicator. This allows the operator to see the operation state of the device by just looking at the unit. Blue symbolizes wheel mode, green shows tower mode, and the red shows an alarm. Now when you are turning off your device, Make sure you press the power button and wait till the temperature comes all the way down until it is no longer shown on the board and it only displays off. After this approximate 3 minute wait you can now turn off the device to the off position. These instructions will help to understand how to operate your control panel and to find more information on the unit please take a look at either our operating manual or our training manual. And if necessary our service technicians are always available and ready to answer your call.